see some people have really nice backdrops this is totally realistic because i have an old door my washing line <laughs> and a freshly painted wall so that's how we know that this girl is on a budget <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. This is totally not the second time I've had to film this. Um, I thought it'd be nice to sit down and actually chat to you about something that I take part in every single year, unless it's the fallow year, or there's a global pandemic. <laughs> and it's actually one of the top questions that I receive on my channel because I talk about it all the time and people are just wondering how you actually get into it. So I thought it would actually be quite resourceful for me to sit down because it's relevant to everyone. Um, everyone can do it as long as you're over 18 and have the willpower of getting up so early in the morning. But I thought I'd incorporate it with some of my prints because it is getting very close to the event and the event that I am talking about is Glastonbury Festival. I've even put like a jacket on. Like I've got this really cool leafy thing and then I was like, oh, I'm a bit nippy so I'll just put a jacket on and make it look all formal. Um, I am half asleep because I have been up since 5 o'clock and decided that th now will be a good time to film this video. But it's okay. Realistic. Realism. We like that on this channel. <laughs> I decided to incorporate showing you some of my top prints that I've got for this event. And that event is Glastonbury Festival. <laughs> I get to take part in Glastonbury Festival every single year as part as, well, being a volunteer and that entitles me to obviously free tickets lots of other benefits along the way as well now i'm gonna i'm gonna talk you through everything that we do get and how you actually get into it because i've been doing it since i was about 18 and so that's about 10 years if you don't include the three years of no glass and i think it's three or four three or four all i know is that I, all i can remember is that i am a veteran and this is the third year on the trot i'm able to do it since the pandemic stopped it. And I think there's been one fallow year and that's been sort of it. Anyway, I'm going to quickly show you my first print and this one, quite cute because it was one of the very first ones that I did actually on my channel. I think I filmed it so I'll leave a link in the description box to the actual video of me creating it. It's from a very long time ago so it the quality, you can tell it's an old video and I was very sceptical of the internet because the internet can be a terrifying place. Um, if I knew what I knew then, what I knew now, I would be totally open and honest about it. So this is print number one. Du, 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 du. So this is of Glastonbury Tour. It's on lino, pre, lino print on paper. The print piece of paper is actually A5 size and the print is slightly smaller. I like to have a bit of a, back, a border around the print so you can drop it down and edit it however you want. It's really nice because when you're actually at the festival you can see the glass me tour if you go to a certain spot by the pyramid stage and it's just a nice little background piece that entered me into the whole back well back into the world of liner print because liner printing is actually a very nice easy technique to replicate your drawings into a reproducible material. And because of that, it means I keep the prices quite low. So this print will cost £5 and the post and the packaging will be about £2. It can increase depending on where you are across the world. There is a global scheme that eBay do offer. That is where I also sell my artwork. Links all down in the description box. There I say more. So £5 for this print, £2 for postage, plus excess if you're out of the UK. I volunteer every year at Glastonbury Festival and the way we get in is by volunteering and the type of volunteering that I do with my family is litter picking. Litter picking may seem like a really easy way, well easy way and easy job to do but it really isn't. The shifts that we have to do is from 6am to 12pm so it's 6 hour shifts, 4 lots of shifts, normally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and they are hard because A, you're really tired, B, if there's an act you've seen the night before, you're going to stay up and watch them because you, you obviously you don't want to miss out on great music. You can obviously go back to the tent after your shift and have a little snooze and then I feel fine because you're sleeping in a tent. It's not exactly glamping. <laughs> it's literally just a little camp bed with a few pillows and a sleeping bag. And it is rough. It is rough. And I think my favourite quote that Lady Gaga actually said is, while she was at the festival the first time, 
was that we all suffer for our love of music and that is so so true and it does stay with me to this day that quote i never got to see it that year um i was too young to take part and volunteer for the festival so those shifts you do four lots of shifts i do it with a charity you have to pay a full ticket price to get into the festival but once you complete your shifts you get that ticket money back there is like a 30 pound donation to that charity um which you know 30 pound for a week and a half it's it's nothing it's literally pennies <laughs> when it comes to how much the, the festival costs as well as how much you actually get out of it volunteering is very insightful because the amount of random stuff that you find is ridiculous and sometimes you don't believe it i, I think one of the wackiest things i've ever found what well, i didn't find someone else found and i heard from someone else there's a tree by the pyramid stage and someone had a bra and decided to poop in the bra and fling it up in the tree and it's just stayed there. We did have to take it out, the managers had to, um, the team leaders sorry, had to um, get up there and take it out and dispose of it properly. But it is incredibly in like filling the job because you can see the before and after and yeah it is so knackering. But the one thing I have noticed throughout the years of doing this is that you never do a full shift. So even though they say between 6am till 12pm, I've never done a full six hour shift. It, the most I've ever done is about four and a half hours. And that's because there's not just our cleaning crew, there's several other ones throughout the campsite. So once we're cleaning one area, obviously clean the area, someone else is doing like, let's say the other stage or the pyramid stage or west holtz somewhere like that everyone gets given us different kind of area to do it with the team that we're in would generally tend to have about 100 people in it so it gets done quite quickly especially during the first few days because there's not a lot of litter and because of the amount of litter and the widespread message about litter there has been less and less litter well throughout the whole festival since i began to where i am now it there isn't much there really isn't much <laughs> Which is a really nice surprise, like, it won't be exactly on the field, you will find litter because there's drunk people, there's silly people, <laughs> on another moon kind of people, who just drop stuff. And that's, you know, it's not, it isn't okay, but they preempt that by hiring us and without that, we'll be out of, we'll be, uh, we'll be out of a job. So print number two that I'm going to be showing you is in fact... The pyramid stage so again this one I, I believe I created on my channel it's one of the very first ones I ever did it is a5 in size onto a piece of paper which is a5 so the print is slightly smaller and um, to keep it affordable I like to keep these prints at five pounds because it means everyone can afford it and I feel like because it's a festival a lot of people enjoy it and I enjoy it and I want to share that with a lot of people so this is a lovely little print Again, this costs two pounds to send, and again, it will be more expensive if you if you're outside the UK. It's part of the global program with eBay, so they can sort out postage outside of the UK. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the little lines I've got at the top. I made sure the line of print when I was carving it out that I wanted to give an impression of like weather, because um, I've been to Glasby where it's been all sorts of weathers, and you just think, oh my god, I just want to either cry because I'm sunburnt or it, I'm just flooded out. <laughs> I'm taking a hay fever tablet this morning so my eyes are so itchy so if they look a bit bloodshot like I've been crying it's just because of my hay fever and my hair is just my hair because I washed it last night and it's just gone poof uh, which we all love. <laughs> All natural today guys. <laughs> tired eyes, tired face, hairs all over the place. Sort of rhymes as well. So, the benefits, the added benefits to not just getting a free ticket, getting some decent shifts, finding really wacky and weird things is that we actually get to go into the festival early. And when I mean early, normal, we call them punters, go in on Wednesday and we actually get to go three days in before. So yeah, so we go on a Sunday the guy the other people come on wednesday so we've got sunday monday tuesday so technically four days four days early three days if you want to drop your stuff off and then go back to work um which seems amazing but at the same time 
it can be incredibly boring. So when we're actually there for the first few days, we do walk around, we do take a look at the sites and have a little gander and have a chat and actually have a catch up. Because I go in with my family, it's like our family holiday. And we do really enjoy it. Um, but because they're still building the site, a lot of it is either not up and running, um, hasn't been built yet, <laughs> they haven't just arrived. So a lot of the food trucks and drinks trucks don't actually arrive until the Monday, Tuesday. Um, I think that's just how it is. <laughs> um, also to go with that, with the whole being let in early, you're probably wondering where do we park or where do we camp? So we actually get a separate field, all the volunteers get a separate a completely separate field. It's called Tom's Field and it's really really good because there's separate showers, there's toilets. The toilets aren't as great as you'd expect, they're just long drops, nothing special, nothing too special. But toilets, you're just gonna love them. If anyone doesn't know what long drop is, it's basically where there's a hole in the ground and they've put cubicles on top of it and you just sit on the toilet and it, what, your access just drops into this hole in the ground that they come around and suck up in the morning and just dispose of them. <laughs> Sounds delightful, I know, but I suppose when you've got that many people at a festival it's probably the best way to clean. I prefer the compost toilets because they're just a lot more private and I don't feel like with long drops you can see people's feet and that's really off-putting especially when you're going for a number two. <laughs> um, I can't stop laughing when it comes to talking about poop, it's just one of my traits. Um, and I just happen to have <laughs> showers which is so underrated because there are showers out of that site in the peace fields but there's like five and that's for like the whole entire festival which we call them visitors I don't want to keep calling them punters because it sounds like a puncher <laughs> but yeah um so a shower is very underrated but it's amazing <laughs> and especially when it's hot you just want to get out, get in the shower and crack on. When you complete your shifts you actually get given two food tokens which we have our separate marquee that we get to go eat at and which sounds amazing because it means you only have to fork up for one meal and that's if you don't find a bit of money on the floor. <laughs> the amount of times I've, I've done these events and it is quite nice you find some really disgusting stuff like the bra and the poo, but sometimes you find money, sometimes you find drugs. Drugs obviously are handed and disposed of, because that's not my thing, just don't enjoy it. You find water bottles, you find glasses, you find makeup, you find, I found passports, I found phones, I found underwear, <laughs> which you obviously dispose of. Um, there's quite a lot of things that you do find, but money is also one of the things that I do find a lot, just like random coins or notes around the floor which is kind of ironic because actually every single year, I can say it, every single year I've never had to pay for my meal out of my own pocket because the amount of money that I find pays for the meals. I mean it's totally recycling, <laughs> it's recycling to another level. Um, obviously if it's a wallet with money in it I will hand it in but if it's just a few coins on the floor I'm not going to go searching for that person. I'm not the only person, a lot of other people do it as well. Um, there's quite a few jackets that we find, again we just hand them in um, because the worst thing to happen is that you lose something like a key or your house keys or your car keys and it's in obviously your jacket. You don't want to lose that at all. So there's a bit of goodwill there. Um, but yeah, the marquee, this year they're actually changing up. It used to be all vegan or vegetarian meals but they're actually including meat meals this year because they found that there was a lot of food waste because a lot of people didn't used to eat there because the food was very limited of what they could offer um, and they actually found it was more harmful to the environment because the amount of food waste they had compared to not including a meat option. Um, my dad actually woke up my mum and kind of shouted down the house when he heard that they were doing bacon bodies at this tent. He was so happy because um, actually if you don't have a meal voucher and you want to eat there it's only about five pounds to um, have a meal which is really really cheap compared to a lot of other stores. Some of them are actually okay in value or actually really good, but you can tell the cost of living is hitting a little bit harder. Um, take example, we at the very start of volunteering, we used to go down after our shifts and get a baking baguette. It's about this big, but this big, lots of bacon in it. It was about four pounds. When we came back from COVID, it was up to seven pounds. And that was just too much. It was way too much. 
especially when you're paying for the same baguette size and also less bacon. So we were like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. We found another store, it was slightly smaller, um, but it was still about the same price. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you my final print. This one's actually the most recent print that I have developed for Glastonbury, and I think I've developed it last year. It must have been last year because that's when I was drawing them up and that's how I drew my tattoo on my hand. I don't think I've ever actually showed you this. Should I get the best angle of this? So this is representing Glastonbury Festival. So we've got the pyramid stage. The, three, the two lines below are basically the audience and that little nudget there <laughs> uh, is me. It's re representing me because without all of this, it would mean nothing. We've got the tour on the top part, so that's the little tour bit, and then the circle is the sun, and that's just a representation of further around, as in the other stages, not just the other stage, but the other stages. And I, as soon as I drew it, I got in touch with a tattoo artist, and within a few days, I got myself that tattoo. One of the most painful things I've ever done, apart from having needles in my feet, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> But anyway, um, this next print, this is the third and final print, most recent print, love the print, it's a bit bigger than the other two and a bit more expensive but it's so good, so not to toot my own horn, so here it is. So this is on A4 paper and the print is slightly bigger than A5, again it is lino, that you can see, you can kind of see the inspiration that I got from my tattoo. Because um, I actually did about three or four different designs before resting on this one and I'm resting on that one on my wrist. But, well, I mean, rhymes, but it's fine. <laughs> so, slightly bigger, so the postage is going to be more expensive. It is going to be £4, and that's within the UK because it fits a small parcel size. Again, I've left a bit of a border so you can cut it down to whichever size you want. And the price of this one is £7. Obviously, with all my prints, I do have an auction of it, so you can obviously offer a better price, or you can send me an offer if you want. I'm totally open to everything, as long as it's not like a pound. That would not even cover the cost of materials or the fees on eBay. Um, I am quite offer open to it, because I want it to be affordable, I want my prints to be affordable, I want everyone to enjoy it, because even though it's a small amount for me, it does make a massive impact in me being able to push forward this art practice rather than relying on my part-time job. Um, and that's just something really to know. Um, so that's all the three prints. I think I've covered everything on in the terms of volunteering at Glassby Festival. It is a little bit late when I'm uploading this video to actually volunteer for this year. But next year you will be able to volunteer and there is a whole website so I'll leave a link on how you can volunteer because you don't have to just do lip picking there's, there's so many different vi variations of what you can do like i know some people were doing the you know where the car park where the cars come in for the car parking they were doing that and they actually got paid i think it was like a grand for four days and they also got a free ticket and it was some other little freebies as well to go with it um you can do drinks i believe you can do like work in a bar again you can work for that and get money for it and also you can you can actually volunteer for our after the festival by litter picking as well and that again you do get paid for which sounds awesome but apparently it's so meticulous because you're literally picking up the tiniest little bits that we can get away with leaving and um, because it is an active farm and cows will come in and eat anything that's on the grass so it is incredibly resourceful and a great way to actually get into the Glassy Festival by volunteering. But it is very demanding. <laughs> and you kind of need to know that you go into the festival and you kind of got time off for the festival by September because that's the time that we get an email going through like, Hi everyone, are you ready for next year's festival? Please let us know if you want to join and then send the deposit off. They normally give us until January to send the deposit off in full. Um, which is a really good amount of time because I think the ticket price is about 320 now compared to 240 when I first started which apparently hold me on to this that Emily Evis said that well someone asked her how much money they make on each ticket and she said not very much we literally spend every single penny I think they make about 25p per pro on profit per ticket it doesn't sound like very much but actually the amount of people that go at 
can be a lot of money, but I suppose that can just cover the costs of loss of life of the cattle and all the, the um, polluting and fork you, all the bad bits that you get with festivals, which I won't put it down on because even though it does happen, I've seen a lot of change since I, very, since I started to what I am now. Obviously, you're going to get a few minor people that do ruin it for a lot of people, but there is some really nice kindness out there and generally because everyone's so happy at the festival I've never had a bad experience with the festival and I generally cannot wait for it this year it's about two weeks away from when we get to actually go into the festival and I've got a lot of things to do between now and then because I've got to prepare all my videos for this channel I've got to pack I've got to drive down, it's a four hour drive down to my parents because my parents still live down in Somerset which is very handy for me um, and there's just a lot, there's a lot that I need to prepare for and I can't wait, just the thought of it wants to make me cry because <laughs> of how great it is and what's nice as well is that it's exactly six months after Christmas so I've got Christmas, Glastonbury, Christmas, Glastonbury, so on and so forth but it's going to be a good two weeks of me down there because I've actually also got a wedding straight after it. Well, not straight after it, I've got like two days, a wedding, day to recover, then it's back into work. Uh, which is a lot, but just how, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I've answered some of your questions that you have asked on my channel. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer them either on another video or just sending you a message because who doesn't want to have a great time at Glastonbury Festival? <laughs> um, in my description box I have all the links to my making prints, also my eBay sale account which you will find to, well, basically buy the prints, that's if you want to. There's a lot more I have to offer in my eBay sale account if you're willing to have a little browse. Um, I am open to offers on everything as long as they're very reasonable because I am working for myself. There's also uh, my Patreon if you'd like to join me on my Patreon. I've now dropped it down to two tiers so I've got a printmaking one and an acrylic pour one and that is because I found it was very confusing and I felt like it's a lot better quality just narrowing it down to two rather than three and makes it more cost effective for everyone as well. Any more questions honestly feel free to contact me. I hope I've not babbled on too much and it's made sort of sense. Again I apologise for the face but this girl has been up since five so <laughs> I have tried suffering for hay fever, suffering from a lot of hair today but yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you later. Bye!